Hey guys, welcome to MATLAB. So this is going to be an introductory, absolute beginner video to MATLAB. So if this is your first time in MATLAB, this is the video for you. Um, now, I assume if you're here, you kind of know what MATLAB is, so I'll skip that intro. But I want you guys to think of MATLAB as this big calculator that is matrix oriented, okay? MATLAB actually stands for Matrix Laboratory, um, and you can do a lot of engineering related work within MATLAB. And it actually kind of spans um, beyond that as well. Um, MATLAB is also used in healthcare as well as finance and a few other sectors. All right, so when you first open up MATLAB, uh, you're presented with this environment. Now, I've got four windows open by default. Um, yours is probably different. I have an editor, um, I have a command window, I have my workspace, and then I have my directory here to the left. So what do these windows do? The editor window, which is the window on the top, um, you can kind of see it from here, is this is primarily used when you're writing a piece of code or more formally speaking, I guess it's when you're scripting something. Um, for example, you could be using loops and you'd write that code in this editor. Um, don't worry if you don't know what loops are. I just want you guys to get the big picture idea, if you will. The command window underneath the editor is where MATLAB outputs stuff, and it's usually numbers for you. You can also use the command window for some quick tasks that don't require scripting. So if you do something as simple as, let's say, um, 10 plus 10 equals 20, or something a little bit more complex, such as we could say magic five, um, which uh, spits out a five by five matrix for you. And then you might say, well, how do I clear my command window? You just type in CLC and then you press enter and everything pretty much gets wiped off. So that's the command window in a nutshell. Um, it's designed to do quick calculations that don't require scripting. And next, I'm actually going to move upstairs to my editor window. By the way, if you don't have the editor window, so let me X out of it. If you only have a command window and you want to open your editor window, all you have to do is make sure you're on your home page uh, on the home tab, and then you're just going to click on new script. Okay. And that opens the editor for you. Um, so let's, uh, let's, uh, script something. Um, let's say I want MATLAB to count, um, from one to 100. Now, if you want to do this by hand, it's going to be pretty tedious. Okay. But, uh, through four loops, um, MATLAB can pretty much do this, um, within seconds. And once again, don't worry about if you don't know what four loops are or why loops, um, we'll, we'll get to loops, um, in, in, in a later video. All right, so I'm going to initiate a for loop, and to do that, I just type in for, and in the script, this tells MATLAB, hey, I'm starting a for loop, and then I can call, I'm going to declare a variable, and you just type in the name of the variable. So I'm using A as, in, as a variable here. I could also go ahead and just type in cal, okay? It doesn't really matter. In fact, I'm going to keep it as cal. So I'm going to say for, which initiates the for loop, cal equals... And then I'm going to be initiating a vector here. And to do that, I'll do one because I'm starting with one and I'm going all the way to 100. And all I want MATLAB to do is to display numbers going from one all the way to 100. So I'm going to do display, open parentheses, and I'm going to type in cow <laughs> in my display. And I'm going to press enter. And typically with any kind of loop, there is a beginning and there is an end. And you specify that by just typing an end here. So this is a simple loop telling MATLAB, hey, cow is my variable. And then I'm creating a vector with this going from all the way from 100, from one to 100. And then to run my script, I'm gonna be, I make sure you're on the editor page and then just click on run. And now MATLAB is asking me to save my file, so I'm going to save it, and let's call it intro to MATLAB. And as you can see, MATLAB spits out numbers going from 1 all the way to 100. And as you can see, the results are displayed in the command window. Um, let's see. Um, now you can also see that some stuff also popped up in your workspace page. And essentially the workspace contains variables that you 
either create or import into MATLAB from data files or other programs. Um, more on that later. And that's essentially what the workspace does um, in a nutshell. It pretty much displays our, all, all of your variables. If you've created a matrix in the past, you can keep track of them here. All right, let's see. I went over the editor tab. I went over the command window. I went over workspace. And then the only thing I see left here um, is the directory. So the directory to the left, um, as you can see here, it kind of shows where you currently are right now as well as the previous M files that you've made in this folder. An M file is simply a MATLAB file and you can see the MATLAB logo next to each M file here. So, all right, let's see what I have in mind. Um, another thing. So let's say you want to clear your workspace. If you go to your command window and just type in CLC, that only clears your command window. So in order to get rid of, in order to basically wipe out, wipe out the workspace, you're going to type in CLC comma clear. And that pretty much wipes out everything in your workspace. I feel like there are a lot more um, content that I can make with this video, but for just for the purposes of like an introduction, I want to keep this light um, and basically finish it here. If you guys have questions, um, let me know in the in, in the comment section below. I was going to say co co command. And I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. Something else I want to show you guys. Um, if you go on the Home tab and if you go to the Resources page, you can see that you can also learn MATLAB on your own pace. And if I click on it, uh, browser is going to pop up. And there are courses here that you can kind of take on your own. and learn MATLAB along the way. But uh, rest assured, I'm going to be making a lot more tutorials, so you guys are going to be covered uh, when it comes to MATLAB. So that's it for this video. If it helped, um, please drop me a like. Um, give me a comment if you have questions, or if you liked the video, just let me know, hey, I liked it. And then that kind of gives me the motivation to make more videos. All right, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.